So I understand you gotta people. This is what I tell people: if your grind, if you okay, your grind have to match the dream. Mm. The dream has to match the grind. Mm. It goes both. How can you say you want something but you ain't working for it? Mm -hmm. anything mm. I'll start stop I'm pretty sure a lot of people could relate mm -hmm. and start stop me like damn when are you going to succeed when are you going to actually you know put your money where your mouth at and stay focused mm -hmm. and not give up but she said when you start paying for things on your own Ooh. you will understand why you can't stop yes Come on. Because I didn't realize how true that was. Because it's like when you start investing in your own self and it's coming from your pockets and your mama's pockets, you, you don't feel it. No, you don't. <laughs> what up, gang, gang, gang? It's your girl, Prissy P, guys. We back with another banger. Banger. Woo! Yes. And today I got my girl, Tam's Table. Yes, guys. And Tam bought us some. Mm. Wing stop, baby. Baby. My yes. favorite. Yes, we got the banging ranch. Y'all already know. Mm -hmm. What else we got? What kind of flavor wings we got? I got the original hot. Yes, that's for you. Hello. And I got the lemon pepper. Right. I tried to get off last, but he was being funny acting. So, oh. yeah, I had to mix it up. And that's we got fine. some fries. We got mm -hmm. that. Salt, salt and vinegar. vinegar. Yes. Oh, vinegar, yes. Yes, salt and vinegar. And we got some. Carrots and celery. Which is my favorite, the carrots and celery. Yes, I'm gonna be tearing all yes. of this stuff. So guys, before we get into this video, if you wanna see what Tam is all about, which you're gonna get to know her in this video, go check out her channel. The link is in the description below. Yes, yes. Go check her out, show her some love, guys. You know, she, she does mukbangs. What all do you do? I do ASMR. I also mm -hmm. do mukbangs and little conversation, all of that. Yes. Lots of laughter, lots of jokes. Fun. So, yeah. Fun. Fun, fun channel. channel. Fun channel. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and say our prayer and get into the video. Okay. So I'll do arm to arm. All right, let's say. Father God, thank you for this food. Let it be nurtured into our body. Bless the ones who prepared it and bought it in your name. We pray, amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm it. And I'm hungry. This is the first thing I ate today. <laughs> yes, it's time. What you think? It's good. It does got like a nice mm. little tang to it, right? But it's not hot. It's not hot. It's good. It's bomb. Oh yeah, yeah I didn't sleep. What's this? Woo. Okay, so Tim. Yes. So you are new to YouTube. Brand spanking new, y'all. Brand new, y'all. She just started in July and she's doing absolutely amazing. Y'all gotta come check me out. I started my channel July of this year. Mm. I don't know how many I'm at right now. I think I'm at six, 604 subscribers. 604. Mm-hmm. So I'm on to table VIPs. Hey, baby, hey, baby. Hey, y'all. <laughs> and thanks so much for having me on Of course, of course. So mm. let's get to know you a little more. So where are you from? I am originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Mm-hmm. So what is the girl from Cleveland doing in the ATL? Baby, doing it. Doing <laughs> it. No. I sing. Do sing. I do sing. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I sing. I mean, I got a regular job too, but. Yeah, but your passion is that. Yeah. I sing. Mm hmm. Look at that, y'all. Mm. It's all good. I dip y'all a little bit. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's all good. So you sing? No, are you yep. married? You have kids? I am not married. Mm hmm. I don't have any kids. Me either. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what is good? <laughs> what made you want to start YouTube though? Like, did you just. Okay, so I have been wanting to start YouTube for a long time, just thinking it over in my head, and I could see myself doing it, but never had the nerve, mm -hmm. never had the guts. To put my insecurities aside mm -hmm. and actually get in front of a camera and watch myself do whatever. Right. I have two channels. This channel, well, Tam's Table, and then I also have Tam's World, which is where I do like makeup oh. and beauty stuff. And so it took a lot because I'm very insecure in a lot of ways. Yeah. 
You would not tell. Yeah. You had it well. Thank you. And so, I was like, I don't think I can do this. Mm -hmm. When I recorded my first one, and it's still, like, unlisted. You can't find the video. <laughs> I was eating public chicken wings. Um, I was just like, you know what? People going to talk about you regardless. Yep. So, if anybody out there is thinking about doing YouTube, mm -hmm. please do it. That's why I tell people, just do it. Just do it. People going to have something to say regardless, no matter what you're doing. Yep, so. You might as well try to get paid. Hello? So, being insecure, <laughs> like, the motivation, you have a lot of motivation right now. Because you, you, you have been posting, you've been grinding. Mm -hmm. So, how do you... Being that you are an insecure person, how, what, what's keeping you to push? Mm. Something putting some fire in you. I see other people out here winning mm. doing YouTube. And if they can win doing YouTube, yeah. why can't I? Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. out here winning. This girl over here, 100 and, <laughs> how many thousand? 160,000? She's winning. So if she can win, I can win. So yeah, yeah, that's what's pushing me. Yeah, it's keeping that fire going. The grind. And people don't understand. You gotta. People. This is what I tell people. If your grind, if you okay, your grind have to match the dream. Mm. The dream has to match the grind. Mm. It goes both. How can you say you want something but you ain't working for it? You ain't working for it. You have to work for whatever you want. Like you said, you're you you you're, you're a singer. That's what you want to do. It's your passion. So be on the platform right now, building up that fan base mm -hmm. and help your career in music. Whether you drop a mixtape or a single. Absolutely. And I'll be on my channel just to sing it away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I got to take advantage of being a smaller channel mm -hmm. because... They don't really scan too much with all the copyrights and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I be singing now, but once I blow up, mm -hmm. I gotta sing originals. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Copyrights, boy. Yeah, they don't play. Yeah. And you two cracking down. They are. Mm -hmm. But yeah, laying in bed at night and wishing and dreaming is not gonna bring anything of substance to you. You gotta get up. Yep, move. And get it and move. Which is also why I do have the last move, y'all. It's not just for weight loss. It's not just for, you know, whatever. It's because you just got to get up and move with everything you do. Absolutely. Take one step forward and God will lead the rest of the way. Mm-hmm. God, God ain't going to just give you the blessing while you lay in the bed. God responds to faith. Yes. And what is faith doing? Doing. Knowing. Believing. Oh, my gosh. And then putting it to action. That's what he responds to. Yes. You can dream all day. Yes. Ooh, there's a in there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you could dream all day, but your hustle don't match the dream, you, know, you ain't gonna never get it. Never get it. My mom, when I was younger, I was one of those kids that will always be like, Mom, I'm gonna do this. And she would, every time, and if, you want, if I wanted to do ballet, and I wanted to be a rapper, she'll support everything and she'll buy the stuff I need to pursue mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. You know how you be like, you wanna do it, and then you get bored, but then you stop, because it's really not a passion, but it's a, a little thing that you thought about you might be good at. Right. And I'm like, Mom, I never finish anything. Mm. I'll start, stop. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate. Mm -hmm. And start, stop, and you're like, dang, when are you going to succeed? When are you going to actually, you know, put your money where your mouth at and stay focused mm -hmm. and not give up? But she said, when you start paying for things on your own, mm -hmm. you will understand why you can't stop. Yes. Come on. Because I didn't realize how true that was. Because it's like, when you start investing in your own self and it's coming from your pockets, because your mama's pockets, you, you don't feel it. No, you don't. <laughs> you but don't. When you, but when you. Listen, when you spend $150 on a ring light, hey, you got a reason to keep that train moving. Hey. I knew this. Once I started investing into my channel, I'm like, this money can't go to waste. Let's get up and do a video tonight. <laughs> you better stay at him. <laughs> Back drops, all mm -hmm. that stuff. And one thing about being a mukbanger is that mm. good. you always eat anyway. So you yeah. have no excuse to not post a video. Every single day of your life. Every day. Whether it's home cook, check out, mm. you're going to eat. And that's why I do enjoy doing mukbangs because it's, you, you're interacting with your subscribers. You're talking about your day. You're also being therapy for some people who are going through stuff like oh. patients and stuff. Oh, the people, the patients, mm -hmm. and just the, the homebodies. I say that. The people that just stay at home, they're retired. 
disabled. They watch and they get so much joy out of watching us day -day. interact and eat day to day. Oh my God, I get so many comments like, Chrissy, I've been disabled for this many years and when you do vlogs with your mom, when you do vlogs, it makes me feel like I'm with you guys, shopping with you guys. Mm. And it's like the little things that can make someone's day. People don't understand this is more than just YouTube and making a check and grinding. This is like a ministry. Listen, Nate said it best. He said, you're not just eating in front of camera. You're touching lives. You're reaching lives. You're touching lives. People from my high school, y'all, mm. following back up with me like, oh my God, I didn't know you was on YouTube. This is incredible. Give me some of that lobster. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Touching Love it. lives. Touching lives. Inspiring Absolutely. people. Mm -hmm. Cause some people are just all you say insecure, down on themselves, worried about what the world gonna say when they <sighs> when God gave you so much talent to use, man. He gave you a voice. He gave you he gave you a lot. God That's gave us weird. a lot. Yes. We don't even know how much he, he gave us a lot, and we have to be able to use those talents, and that that drive, and that purpose to fulfill what He needs to fulfill. You are right here. And not only that. Yes, we're eating on camera, but you don't know who may see you, mm -hmm. see something inside of you, and that may open a door to do film, mm -hmm. movies, mm -hmm. voiceovers. I want to do all of the mm -hmm. above. Me too. All of the above. This, but this nobody, is a stepping stone. Yes, nobody will know that that's inside of you if you don't present it to the world. Thank you. I mean, listen, YouTube is free. You may have to invest into your channel. Mm-hmm. But to start an account on YouTube, don't cost a dime. Mm-hmm. Don't cost a dime. A stepping stone. Mm -mm -mm. Use it. Use it to grow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's so many YouTubers who have started this, but now they're singers, platinum women, people are actors. Mm -hmm. Got Netflix. Movies. Issa Rae. She started on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. Easter is on HBO. Yep. Killing it. Everything. There's no excuse. No excuse. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Mm hmm. Sorry, y'all. I'm hungry. You look like a good wing. That wing stop. Mm. Now I got my power egg. I love power egg. You do? Mm hmm. I usually drink the blue one. Mm hmm. Cause you know what, we still taking a lot of calories and we do mug bangs, mm -hmm. and it's zero calories. Zero calories yeah. yeah, I'm a waterhead. Mm, that's good. That's water. why your skin's so pretty in your hair. <laughs> Girl, my skin's so blotchy right now because I was no. this whole summer being in the pool. I'm sitting yeah, right I'm next to her. <laughs> her skin is so clear. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I notice about people that skin. Oh. Well, dang, what's the first thing I notice about people? I look at their eyes like I'm all about is this person they do do they do eye contact? Can yeah. I see them? Oh yeah, that eye contact. Yeah. I wanna see your soul. I'm very spiritual with that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that is the first thing you notice about people. Let me ask you okay. some other questions. Okay. Girl. Maybe ask you some questions that the gang don't know. Oh what's, Lord. Your, what's your favorite season? Mm, spring. Why? <laughs> because it's right after summer. Okay. The birds are chirping. Mm. It is, yeah, I just it like is I just like this the sound of nature. Mm-hmm. And it and just being bright brightness. That's what I like. Okay. Have you ever broken a bone? Yes. What? My arm right here. It's still like a little lump right there where the bone came. I through. see it. Oh my yeah. gosh! I've never broken a bone, girl. Who? Um, have you ever skipped school? <laughs> Girl? No, Prissy P. Mm. Prissy P play hooky. A lot. Too much. I used to skip school for, for wood. We did too. We used to skip school, boy. We used to be cutting, <laughs> cutting class. Mm. Third period. We used to be like, all right, we're going to stay to third period. All right. Because when I was in high school, I know I'm telling my age, we didn't have cell phones. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You had to meet up at a locker and be like, look, mm -hmm. that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Back door, third period, we're going to meet up, we're going to bow. Yep. <laughs> okay. okay. Next question Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi. Well, I like both. Do you? But Pepsi. 
Okay. Well, Atlanta is a Coke town, so you have to know that Coke. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite color? I really don't have up to but teal. Teal. Like an aqua teal. Mmm. Like greenish. Like the nail. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's me and his favorite color. Really? Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, who's the last person that texted you? Let's see. <laughs> I have over 200 and some checks that I have not checked. Oh, just see this one, Miss Busy. Ayo Trev. Ayo Trev. Hey, yo, Trev. I just met him last night, y'all. Mm -hmm. I, I like him. I really like mm -hmm. him. Um, in high school, were you in the in crowd or the out crowd? That's a good question. I was always in the in crowd. Where are you? Always the, the center of attention. Always just popular. I wasn't. I was. I wasn't. I was a busybody because I was in choir, band, singers. I was in some of everything, all, unity, all the activities. But as far as like being popular and being hip, no. Nope. And I went to big high school. Yeah. I just wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um. But you know, I feel like people was only close with me because I always had a car. Oh. It was like a using type thing. It wasn't like they, I was just popular because they knew, people wanted they my friend. They just know they wanted to use me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can relate. Okay. Have you ever received a traffic ticket? <laughs> yeah. For not wearing my seatbelt. Oh, you got a seatbelt violation. Yeah. Mm. He was like, ma'am. What, what are you doing? Um, why don't you have a seatbelt on? But did I get a ticket? Yeah, I got a ticket. I did. That was pretty much it. I never had a seatbelt violation, but that speed, boy, that, mama got a heavy foot. Uh-uh. Mama got Put a Put that foot, foot back. Baby, I got um, heavy foot. I don't, I don't play about tickets because I don't like giving nobody my money. Right. I don't got time for that. And that's such a waste. That is a waste. You're paying the city 80 bucks. That's it? Well, <clears throat> my, last, cost. my last ticket was 80 something dollars. Court cost where I stay is like two fifty plus you paying for the ticket. Just the court cost of Rome. What? Yeah. What state is that? North Carolina. Uh, Girl, be pissed. That's why I said I ain't doing nobody my money. Uh, I go to Charlotte a lot. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. <laughs> bang, bang. Okay. We well, almost done. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Cheese. That's it. I don't like, uh, I'll get pineapple, a mushroom, like veggies. I you don't like pepperoni and sausage. I would eat it, but it's not my favorite. I'd rather just have cheese. Did you, gang, did you know that about your girl? I'd rather just have, well, yeah, just cheese. And I'd rather eat the cheese off of the crust. Don't, I know, Tim, I don't ask me. You might as well just get some cheese. Or <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of sauce on it. Okay. What's your favorite? Oh, my favorite toppings are um, Italian sausage, mm. mushroom, and pepperoni. I really, I really can do just Italian sausage and mushroom. Yeah, yeah. I like mushroom. Mushroom is good. Maybe hitting. Oh my god. Mm, it'd be so good. Um, ask you that. Mm. What's your favorite kind of pie? Mm. <laughs> if you can only have one kind of pie. I stick with the OG apple. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I would. I just, it's simple. You got a little cinnamon, a little sugar, a little crunch. Mm hmm. What's that? I like sweet potato, but it's got to be right. Oh my God. How do I forget sweet potato? That's why I'm sitting here like apple. Oh my God. Where are you from? <laughs> Wait, what did I say? <laughs> Listen, my mama make the best sweet potato pies. And my mama do too, so why not just say I don't that? know. Oh, my mom. But thank you, boy. I be, I be trying to get around the table. I be like, excuse me, you know the dessert table? Right. Trying to eat my way okay. around. Excuse me, I'm trying to get to this pie. Mm. <laughs> so are you the only child? No, I have one older brother, and we are two and a half years apart. Oh, so you kind of like grew up. Well, I know we take just two years, so he still lives in the house. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years apart. And um, yeah, we're thick as thieves. Me and my brother too. Thick as thieves. I don't play about him. He taught me how to fight. So what is the <laughs> what is the um what's the worst thing y'all ever both got in trouble about? Ooh, I know right away. 
What you did, Tam? We put, mother told us to put all the food up. We had a cookout. Mm -hmm. And we had ribs, chicken, pork chops, steak, all them expensive meats. My mother told us to put the food up. We put the food up in the refrigerator, in the basement, and one of us left the door open. Oh. And she came downstairs in the basement and saw it was open and she just got the belt and got to swinging. That expensive meat. That expensive meat. And we weren't really sure if it could be salvaged and neither was my mom. I can't even remember if we ate it. It but we were, go. We remember that whooping. It probably could have been savage though. I don't know, but that, <laughs> what about y'all? You remember your Me and my brother. <laughs> it'll probably be just like we lied to her about we cleaned up the house. Mm. And back then we used to like we knew we knew like once she we'll start cleaning up when she got in the driveway. Right! Oh my That's god! So stupid. Why did we wait till the last minute to clean That's the house? So stupid! Like why would you do that? You already know you gotta do about five things. We knew my mama came home at 345. Thank you! And we knew it, it would be like 320 and we would be watching Double Dare. Thank you. Or something yes. like that. And then it, don't let her come home early. Baby. Oh. <laughs> Y'all in front of that TV. Oh, whoop, oh my, my reading way. Boy. <laughs> Stupid stuff. It's like you knew what time she came home. You know, every day at 5 30, 4 30, she, she gave pulling me, up. Listen, had the dishes clean, floor swept, take the meat out the freezer, vacuum. Listen, that meat wasn't out that freezer when she pulled up or was still frozen. frozen? Somebody kidnapped it. Because yeah. I told you. Sure, I told you, and I called you to remind me when you got off that bus. <laughs> I told you before school, and I called you when you got home from school. And girl, I, that meat be frozen. She be like, "Why did we do that, girl? Stupid!" Because you be like, "You don't think you can get caught?" But one day we just like blankly lied. Because normally she be like, "Y'all clean up." We be like, "No, not yet, mama." Right. But this day she tested us. She was already outside, and she was like, "Y'all clean up." She was like, "Yep, the house already clean." She came home. She said, "Came home early, baby." And then mamas know they kids. Yep, she they know. like they know. Well, man, why are you even asking that stuff? You already know I ain't clean up. <laughs> <laughs> That's mm -hmm. hilarious. So how many channels do you have, Christy B? Well, I have my, you know, Christy B. Right. I have PR Green, okay. my husband, and then I have Mama Brand Christy P. Is our vlog channel. Oh, that's the one I don't think I'm following. Mm -hmm. I gotta follow that one. Okay. So it's just me and Mama Bree and. Just like showing our day to day life and her cooking and her going to her dialysis appointments and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, okay, yep. And then I watched you the other day and you was in the pool. Child, you made me want to get into the pool and it was hot in the ladder that day. Yes, girl. And she just in a pool, just splashing mm. around and just, but I'm like, oh, I want to get in the water. It was my best life. Mm hmm. I love that. That pool is everything right now. <clears throat> Getting cold though. Yeah, I'm starting to. Do we get cold in North Carolina? Hell yeah. <laughs> there be snow and everything. <laughs> mm -mm. When it's snow here. I think it get colder what we stay going to do here. Mm. When it's snow here, they shut the city down. Yeah. The schools, government offices, everything. Because it be like some sprinkles coming out of the sky. And you be mm -hmm. like, I'm tired of the office clothes. Yeah, because, you know, in Cleveland, y'all always get snow, right? Cleveland, step, listen, longest winters ever in Cleveland. I couldn't wait to move. Yeah. That's another reason I moved But you just move by yourself? Yeah. So, I don't, it was a faith move. That's what I'm doing. My faith, I'm having a faith move here. And I'm like, I'm scared because I never left my mama before. But I feel like I need to do it. Listen, it's the most freeing thing you will yes, ever I do. Yes, I heard. It'll, listen, it will bless your life. And people, I've been here, it'll be 10 years in February of 2020. And people still can't believe I'm, I'm an atl -er, officially. And they're like, bro, you ever gonna move back to Cleveland? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to hit that wall, y'all. What? The full wall. Oh, I can see me messing around with yeah, these stairs. I've been full. I'm like, dang. Why do you love say danger? Danger. Uh, <laughs> or she say, I'm pulling in the tick on the dog. Shout out to me, lovely. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That's funny. I ain't heard her say that one yet. Yeah, or she's like, I won. I won. I got that BB gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, just something to say. There's something. Mm -hmm. But, y'all, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Yes. Give it a thumbs up. Go check out Tam's table. Tam's table. And see what she's doing over there. Yes, yes, yes. And we love y'all. Love you, gang. Gang, gang, gang.